Here's the thing, and we all know this, it's becoming increasingly more difficult to fit art lessons into your week when they're competing for time against maths and literacy. And that's why this activity is brilliant, because you're gonna use this art lesson as your maths lesson to help embed and build your pupils' understanding of 2D and 3D shapes. It's a great opportunity to be able to talk to your pupils and get your pupils to explore the properties of three-dimensional shapes through their drawings. And why is it important for your pupils to be able to draw three-dimensional shapes anyway? Well, the thing is, drawing is all about life. It's all about the world around us. And we experience the world around us through three-dimensional shapes and objects. So given those skills early on to your pupils, will help them to articulate their ideas with clarity, more depth and passion. And that's really important. So without me waffling on for ages, let's just go straight into the technique of how to turn two dimensional shapes into three dimensional shapes. But first, let's talk about the problem with rulers. Be honest, how many times have you seen your pupils do this? The truth is, that rulers are a little bit too big for young people's hands. And so we have to teach them a few techniques. I like to show them that if it's a horizontal line, you put your four fingers in the middle of the ruler and spread them out. And if it's a vertical line, use your thumb and your finger in a kind of backwards L shape so that they can draw it without it going wonky. And I know it's obvious, but it's amazing how many pupils don't know about how to do this. So let's get started straight away with one of the easier shapes, which is the square. And this is a great chance for your pupils to explore the ruler and get some measuring practice in. So here's the trick, and I did say it was really easy. All you need to do is draw the exact same square again, but this time you're gonna overlap it onto the corner of the original square. And then all you need to do is number each corner from one to four on both squares. This is quite important early on because it really helps the pupils remember where to draw their lines to, because all you're gonna do is draw a line from one to one, two to two, three to three, and four to four. It really is that easy. Now that makes a drawing of a cube that looks like it's made from glass, it's see-through. If you want to make one that looks solid, you just do the exact same thing, but on the second square, you only draw half of it. Now give your pupils the challenge of drawing other shapes. And you don't have to stick to the formula. You can try putting the second shape further away or even change its size to play with perspective. And remember, mistakes are learning opportunities. So this is a perfect activity for sketchbooks because you will be able to see tons of evidence of your pupil's progression. And if you have pupils who really struggle with their ruler for whatever reason this may be, give them stencils to draw around. Understanding the concept and technique is where the learning focus should be. So if you haven't already, you might want to click down there and hit subscribe so that you don't miss the next video. Other than that, have a great art session, alright?